All right, good morning, uh, collectors. This is Joel. Um, Want to do a video uh, first thing. Um, still working on my Chevy collection, and I think I have a solution temporarily figured out uh, for keeping the camera steady. Okay, uh, what I did was I took the uh, window mount out of my car. Um, so I could hold and put it on my desk, and it seems to be working so far. So today, uh, I just want to quickly go over my Corvette collection. Um, most of these are fairly recent. Um, Corvettes have been also a part of Hot Wheels for 50 years. One of their first... Um, in the original 16 that they put out in 1968 were, or was, I should say, the custom Corvette. Uh, I do not have any in my Redline collection. However, I have been collecting uh, Corvettes for quite a while. And so the majority of these are... Uh, from the mid 90s on maybe the early 90s okay so just thought i would quickly go over these uh this is the corvette 14 I'm sorry 14 corvette stingray slide that one out of the way this red one red and white one is the corvette grand sport this i really like this is really nice I like the saw. I think that's based on a real car, real race car. There's another Corf, Fort, I'm sorry, Corvette Grand Sport. I keep wanting to say 14. Okay. So, different variation to the red one. There's another one. Silver. Grand, Corvette Grand Sport. Uh, kind of neat. Got another one here. Good your livery. Alright, so four team Grand Sports. Next one up is the 65 Corvette Convertible. Let's see how the light works. Okay, we'll see how that is. Okay. This is one, a body style that has been coming out Ooh, probably since the mid-90s, 95, I think. Because uh, the copyright date is 1994, so the original came out in 95 as a first edition, I believe. Okay, and uh, it does have a plastic base, but it does also have an opening hood. Okay, this is a model I do like to collect. All right. Um, this particular one, I think, was from the Wastelander series. Um, here's two more 58 Corvettes, both with opening hoods. That one's got a yellow engine, kind of neat. And that one's like a silver engine. Okay. So, I don't remember exactly when these came out, but again, I don't remember if they were in a singles. The teal one was probably a single. This one may have been a five pack. I just don't remember. I just <clears throat> bought them. Callaway C7. There's another Callaway C7. So. Corvette C7R. R probably stands for race. 
Corvette C6R. Compare that to the C7R. C6, C7. Ninety seven Corvette. And my dog is whimpering. I don't know why. So sorry about the extra sounds. Corvette on the bottom. Let's try that. Let's get my hand out of it. This is a casting that has been around since the 70s, okay? This car definitely did not come out in the 70s. Um, the base on this is a copyright date in 1976, but this particular white enamel one um, with the uh, three spokes, okay, uh, came out. Probably sometime in the 90s. This might have been a five pack for a Corvette five pack. I can't remember. Okay. Cool thing is it does have a metal base. Here's the 69 Corvette, relatively new. Okay. Um, and in case I didn't mention it, I believe this white one is the Corvette Stingray. Okay, doesn't say it on the base, but I believe that's what it's known as. Uh, and this is the 69 Corvette. Okay, so that's relatively new casting. Here's another casting that I kind of like, just because I like the shape. It's a 62 Corvette. Here's another Corvette, plastic body, metal base. <clears throat> it's a 63 split window Stingray. It says Corvette Stingray on the base, but <clears throat> it's a 63. 63 Corvettes were the only year with this fastback body style that had the uh, split window in the back. So it's based on the 63 Corvette Stingray. Here's another one. This was a series car that came out. Um, I don't remember. I think they had a Hippie series or something like that. I think that's what it is. I think that's definitely a series car. Okay. Um, this one just might have been a mainline car. Can't remember. <clears throat> this is another '63 Corvette, metal base, metal body. This was a premium type car, um, not like a red liners or something like that. I, it doesn't have real riders, but it's got the, uh, uh, and it's not an original red line from the '70s. So it's, you know, an homage to the Hot Wheels Red Lines. With the black stripe in the back, it is hard to see, but there is a uh, split in the glass right there. So it is a 63 uh, split window Corvette. And it still says Corvette Stingray on the base. And the copyright date on these are 1979, I believe.
Corvette Stingray. Um, this was based on a car. I think it was actually originally raced by um, uh, or designed by Zora Arcus Duntoff, the father of the Corvette. <clears throat> or considered the father of the Corvette because uh, <clears throat> when he started designing the cars, that's when they started selling. So I don't think he was the original designer of the original 53 vet. Okay, maybe somebody who knows Corvette history would know better. But this is probably the racing version of what eventually became the Corvette Stingray. The rear um, is based off of a... Uh, let me see here. The rear, the way the rear lights are, that would be like the 63 Corvette with the slope back. Um, see, this was a 62 Corvette, different tail lights. <clears throat> I think everybody remembers this. This was a new model a couple years ago. So this is the 69 Corvette Racer. Okay. With the flare. Okay, red light and blue scheme. I think this was a new model. I don't think that's a new color or anything. Another 63 Stingray. Again, I like to collect these. Big fan of the Corvette Stingray, the original. Sorry, Marty is. Apparently upset. Maybe he doesn't like Corvettes as much as I do. All right, so. Um, let's see, I can't remember if this was a series car, if it just came out. All right. Here we have the... Um, darn, what did they call this? Um, the Greenwood Corvette. So... This was the new model. Um, I can't remember if this scheme was the new model as well or just a. Um, I think they. One of these was a new model, I think. I can't remember. But it's the Greenwood Corvette. C6 Corvette with the Hot Wheels livery. Probably from the Hot Wheels race team or something like that. Here's another 69 Corvette with a pearl white. This is kind of cool because of the Gulf colors. Everybody likes the racing the Gulf color scheme. All right. And even carried over to the base color and this is the 09 Corvette Z06 I think that is or no 01 I'm sorry 01 okay really this is kind of cool I do like this one sort of similar these two and again, this is the C6 Corvette. Okay, the difference is the uh, piece right there, uh, the windows carry through to that piece right there on the hood. This one doesn't have it. Okay. Fourteen Corvette Stingray. Convertible. Another 58 Corvette. Almost looks like the hood opens on this one, but this one here, they cast it shut. Still, this is a nice car. Don't care, we'll collect them. This is the Roanoke Fire EMS. 
I wonder if that's based off Roanoke, Virginia. Okay, and this casting is the Don't know what the casting is. Uh, copyright date is 2010. Maybe someone can tell me what year that car is. Okay. Don't know if it's... I don't think it's this one. No, because the Roanoke one is actually slightly smaller casting. There's another Hot Wheels Fire Department. This is the 2014 Corvette Stingray. Hot Wheels Fire Department. Here's a 1980 Corvette. Metal body, metal base. Uh, plastic roof. It's even got a, like a little suitcase in the back. I don't know if you can see that. But you can kind of see that. Okay, in the back. Um, don't know how old this one is. Copyright date is 1982, but I know that this particular model uh, with the graphics and everything is not from 82. It's a lot newer than that. Uh, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. Here's the 64 Corvette Stingray. See, there's no separation in the window in the back. Uh, where did I put one that did? One that's easy to see. Okay. So, kind of see some differences. Not just the window. Should be about the same wheelbase, even on the original cars. I think the body changed. I think the frame and the wheelbase remained the same. Okay. So there we got 64. Here's another 09 Corvette 01. Looks pretty good with the uh, PR5s. And just no paint scheme, just blue. Just a stock car, so that looks pretty good that way. Twenty fourteen Corvette Stingray. Duplicate, so I'll just pull out the one, and this is a C6 Corvette. Probably showed that one, but even I forget. Here is another racing Corvette, and this is the Corvette C7R. Again, the R probably for a race. This one is fairly new. Looks like this one. Okay. It's kind of nice. I like this graphic design. Um, maybe it's uh, an homage to this older one in color because it looks like the same color with black stripes. The addition, with the exception of maybe a uh, the number on the side. Okay. All right. So that's it for that side. There's more fifty eights. Got a lot of 58s. Uh, open the 
good. Opening hood, a little bit stiff, but it does open. Okay. Actually, this feels like a plastic body. I don't think it is. I think it's a metal body. Another right. 58. turn this was a new model um, was called a first edition I think this came out in 95 this is a 58 this is a casting change okay they got the blown engine versus the opening hood okay same bases same everything just one has the exposed blown engine and the other one has the flat opening hood. Uh, this one is a flat black with flames. And it's a 65 Corvette convertible. There's another 63 Stingray. a 64 Corvette Stingray and a separation in the back window or it's no split window. It's another 64. This is nice because it's got a metal base. Again, I can't remember what they're calling this, but already showed models of this one. This one. There's a 69 Corvette Stingray. I think it's a Stingray. It doesn't say it just says 69 Corvette on the base. Okay. This might be the same car, so maybe it's just a 69 Corvette. There's another Stingray, based off the, uh, the mid-70s model, because the copyright date is 1975. But again, this has the five-spoke wheels, which are modern. This is not from 1975 or 76. This is a fairly modern piece. Probably came out in the 90s. This one probably came out in the 90s too with the Hot One wheels. Um, some of these probably came from a, uh, a five pack for Corvettes. This one right here has a plastic body and a metal base. And this is a color changer. Even holding it right there you see. The heat from my my fingers change the color. Uh, this um, I bought loose, uh, probably at my club meeting. I don't remember off the top of my head. These two notches in the base, the metal base. Um, this was like uh, that came on the stand for like the millionth um, Hot Wheel or something like that with like a trophy type thing. So that's what this is from. This gold Corvette. Okay, and that's based off this Stingray model. Okay. Uh, oops. Right.
right here. I like this one. I like this color. Here's the 80s Corvette. Uh, copyright date 1988. Hot Ones wheels. Uh, don't remember off the top of my head how I acquired this. Um, boy, you get so many cars and you just kind of forget. Anyway, uh, 80s Corvette. That's a casting I had not shown you until now. 69 Copo. Again, um, Copo is a acronym from Chevrolet for Corporate Office Production Order. A um, person could walk into a dealership if they knew what kind of uh, options they wanted. Basically, uh, they would be paying a pretty penny, but they would be buying essentially a race car uh, by ordering it from the, uh, the dealership. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's Copo. There's another 63 Corvette Stingray. This is an older model. This is definitely an older model. This is either from 89 or 90, okay? Because this is a high raker. All right, maybe it wasn't 89 or 90. Maybe it was, when did the high rakers come out? Can't remember, but that real, and this one has real letters, okay? So, it's a little stiff because you know, it's been played with. Two of these, and this is the 69 Copo again. Two of the same model. Here's more of the Grand Sport. Uh, one of them's a duplicate. But, but these are just paint variations off the original red. So black, blue, and red. Red, black, and blue. Okay. So. down to the very last here's an older model 80s Corvette it's got a little suitcase in the back there kind of neat gray interior metal body metal base and the tri spokes um, copyright date 1982, but I guarantee you this is not from 1982. Copyright dates are just when the uh, casting was copyrighted, not when it came out. And here's a Corvette C6 convertible. Two more. Um, a couple more. C09 Corvette 01. Okay, race team series, Hot Wheels race team series, 63 Corvette, okay, 63 Corvette, and two more Corvette convertibles from the 80s, copyright date is 1988, I think this was a five pack model. I think they both were. They might have been come out of either different five packs for either Chevrolet or Corvette. Okay, again, this one has the Hot Ones wheels, so this one is most likely older um, just because of the wheels on here. Exactly when it came out, I don't know. This just has the newer five spokes. All right, so that's basically it. Um, I also want to give you a shout out to um, 89 Mattel for. Um, subscribing and uh, leaving comments a couple days ago and also uh, my cousin Bernie who has provided um, some um, suggestions for improving the video um, I will implement those suggestions uh, I obviously have not done them with this video he'll know what I'm talking about 
uh, also my cousin, Stephen Patrick. Um, so uh, all three of those, you can subscribe to their channels. Uh, Bernie um, does a lot of stuff with his drone, takes pictures um, of his area, Madison Green, in uh, West Palm Beach area, Florida. Uh, actually pretty close to uh, Mar-a-Lago when uh, President Trump lands. So, um, you know, I would urge you to check out uh, my cousins and also uh, 89 Mattel, um, who does a lot of uh, collecting by going to um, thrift stores, and he finds some really cool stuff. So, <clears throat> if you all have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Please like the page. Please subscribe. And I hope you all have a good day. Thank you.